everyone, Matt from m and Plays here, welcome back to my let's play of Demon Souls. In this episode we are f facing off against the rest of area 1-4, um, which is kind of the boss area for the main boss in the game. So, hope you enjoy. So, in this little area, um, which I will call 1-4, um, so there's two dragons in the full game so the first of all we've killed already so that is the red dragon we are going to be facing the blue dragon so the blue dragon is guarding the last boss in the game so we're going to be facing that in this episode so in this episode I have also sped up some parts uh, but I will go over that nearer the time so what you want to do is kill these enemies like normal so kill through them kill through these enemies there's nothing down here So you want to do a light attack on these people. A heavy attack is just too slow. And we get the 1-2 punch. So that's us killed. But never mind. We will carry on. So back to the archstone where we were in the penetrators area. That sounds a bit weird. So, kill these men. Yeet him. Kill that Titanite lizard. Or not. So, we just want to be progressing through um, because this area can be a bit of a pain all of the enemies are very very tough because this is at the end of the game so you're you do this at the end of any playthrough um, really or I have anyway and I've always been at around about the same level so that being I can one shot these people but they can pretty much one shot me so I'm taking out as much health as they do to me so it's about even so that's good so that's what you want to be aiming for you want to be aiming for the same amount of damage maybe more so the two types of enemies you have to worry about in this area first of all being the ninja enemies like this so they are very very quick and as you can see they can give you business with ease so that's the first type of enemy and then obviously the second type of enemy is the red knights the red eyed knights obviously because they are tough these enemies are just run around because who cares kill that The only problem with those enemies is their arrows will do quite a bit of damage to you if you get hit randomly. So just keep moving. Don't stand in the same place for too long. So these tight like lizards are not like in Dark Souls. Um, they only spawn a certain amount of times to um, in equal to the amount of times you've killed the boss. So you didn't want to take any damage from that boss. But I can take some a load of damage from you. Yeah, brilliant. Nice one. Get on the ground. And again. Na 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 na. 
So we keep moving. So apologies that this might be a bit of a tedious one, um, 23 minutes in length, but there's a lot of kind of killing of dragons we do in this. Um, so if you've watched the red dragon video, it's very, very similar. Um, so the red dragon video, I sped up the um, shooting of arrows because I didn't want you to watch Arrow Simulator um, for a good 45 minutes um, like I did because I was I was actually sat there for about a good 45 minutes to 50 minutes just pelting arrows at a lizard so you want to kill this man mug him off for his grass and the stealth throne daggers that nobody cares about if you're doing a dex build yeah that might that might be something but it's not going to do anything for, for you as a strength build if you're watching this and you're playing through and using this as a guide you won't be needing them so the stuff behind you so pick the item up it says blue eyed night greaves so if you want to cosplay as a blue-eyed knight you could you've got the set now and then we've got this cinematic So yeah, it's a cool dragon. <coughs> so the thing with this dragon, so staying out of its reach of fire is pretty much impossible. So what you need to do, there's two ways you can go about this. So you can either go the YOLO way, which is just run like this, but you, you need to be running and keep running at this point. Do not stop here. Keep running because if you do this you will get murked voila so you need to keep running to the other end you do not stop do not stop for anything because that fire will one shot you it is very very powerful it will go through all of your armor even if you are the bulkiest it will still kill you with ease so do not st stay in that radius for too long or you can play arrow simulator at a certain percentage of the blue dragon's health it will proc for the blue dragon to move to a different location it will then make it safe to go through the area until that next location so what I'm going to show you is how to do it the YOLO way and how to do it the Legolas way but first as you can see we're gonna have to face all of the enemies again normally that would that would be a pushover normally it would only take about a minute to get through all of these it's not very many but as, as you can tell they are quite beefy and that their attacks do a hell of a lot of damage so you just need to be careful that you don't get too greedy they're not bulky their health is pretty minuscule compared to the damage we do see but their attacks are scaled for endgame so so with this turn I decided to run out and let them come to me which was a really good plan
so he's dead so we need to keep running so simulator you need a compound longbow that has been buffed to four plus four I would say um, and you need at least 400 arrows to be in with a shot no pun intended um, of defeating this dragon it takes a lot it's very very bulky it the red dragon has got nothing on the health of this dragon so as you can see what you need to do is you need to bait out an attack you need to wait for it to hit the ground and then just as it dissipates at the start you need to start running if you want to get to the end without getting caught but what I decide to do is I've got a longbow I'm going to start pelting it so what you need to be doing is hit the center of the dragon so the body or the wings because the head is going to move too, too often you're going to miss as you can see now so that second one missed you're going to you're going to lose arrows and again so i'm going to speed this up because nobody wants to see this and it would have just taken too long um on the video to watch um, and you would have been just like oh, i'm just gonna not watch this because this is boring well more boring than it already is listening to my monotone voice so what you need to do is pelt this chicken with arrows and then once it gets to a certain point it will then move however our longbow is not strong enough um, it's not been upgraded enough yet um, to be able to get its health down because as you can see it's only got a quarter of health um, and it's been a good half an hour um, this is half an hour's worth of gameplay that is being accelerated it takes a long time to whittle down the health of this dragon um, especially with a longbow that is not upgraded you could do it you could but you would need a thousand arrows so as you can see exhausted so what you want to do is get it to do its flame attack wait until the opportune moment and so now run just keep running right so the fire will stop there so you need to keep running now because it will start f putting fire towards you now and there we are we are at the end do not follow that The fat official will die. So I'm going to show you a bit more of the area. And then once I've shown you a bit more of the actual area, I will hyperspeed killing the dragon so you can see um, how to kill the dragon. So you've seen both ways to do it some nice to you like that so that's Bjorn so who you helped free in the dungeon who helped you with the penetrator which the penetrator's fight is still fantastic so that's the knight sword and shield so if you are thinking about buying it don't worry you can pick it up there for free if you've already bought it you can then just sell these simple so that's opened that door so you've got a shortcut to the top now 
so you don't have to go along that bit you can just go straight to the top bit easy so demon souls and dark souls are always filled with shortcuts and if you explore the world properly you can get a shortcut to make your life easier in the future if you die um, it's a, they're brutal games but they do try and help you every now and then um, especially with shortcuts so so Bjor's tanking the hits like an absolute ledge look at him go so you need to keep running I just like how he just keeps drinking Estus and just like nah 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 I'm alright bro you go on ahead I can just tank molten lava and fire all day take 13 damage per hit mate so this is a very sad bit so I'll let you listen So that's the unfortunate demise of Ostrava, so who we've protected through the game, um, saved three times. Um, he's been mortally wounded by something, so we're going to go and kill the thing that mortally wounded him. Now this is a very very sad moment, so this is Black Knight Ostrava, so his Black Knight form that because he's died he's come back into the world as a black phantom so it's our job to put him out of his misery and we are going to do that in a brutal way we're going to give him the business now do not do that all right it's an easy way of doing it however you will not get if you want to complete the game with everything you'll have to wait for the next run through that you do to get his shield and sword because that will not drop for me now um, I've had it before so it doesn't really matter so that was Ostrava that's the last thing before the boss fight so I just thought I'd go back with a longbow um, that is actually going to do a little bit of damage to the dragon this time and with a load of wood to pelt into this chicken so we are going to kill this dragon this time and sped it up so you so it, again it doesn't bore you while we're talking while we're just watching this dragon just kind of shimmy I'm going to give you a bit of exposition about Ostrava. So Ostrava is a prince um, so he become a knight and he went around all of the lands um, he got the sword and shield from Latria um, where the old monk was so with that he went back to his homeland which is here um, Boletaria to face off because he heard legends of a demon that was running the show so he then goes up to the castle where I assume he lived as the fact that he is the prince um, and he found a demon 
of his father, the king. That demon mortally wounds him, as I believe. Um, with the story, there's people like Favdi Video and etc. who will um, be able to teach that better than I will. Farty Video, whatever his name is, um, very very good content creator. However, he then sits on the stairs, and that's where we find him, and we are then going to give the demon the business. But he tells you about a key to a mausoleum. The mausoleum is in one dash one. So can you, if you watched right of the way back in the day, you may have heard me say that do not go there. So when I said do not go there, it is with the red eye knight. Kill that knight, and then go with the key to the like castle type thing at the end that is where a kind of pseudo bosses he's very very difficult I haven't got gameplay of it because my gameplay recording failed at the time but he has got armor that is the best in class and a ring that's best in class as well so you really want that but again the damage he does he will one shot you um, he one shots me and I do I think it's a hundred damage to him. He he is he is immense. Um, but I get the armor, so one of the one of the other playthroughs you'll see, I will be sporting that armor. Did I say playthroughs? I meant videos. So my last video. It always makes me laugh how that sword is slicing our right shoulder apart. We're just standing there like, yeah, dumb So he's going to go to sleep, and that will be about it. Hope you've enjoyed. Hope you've enjoyed these um, area videos. Hope you found them. Um, interesting hope you've found them instructive for whatever reason you've needed if you need to get through a certain part of the game I hope that it's been helpful to you hope you hope you keep safe and well and if you've enjoyed the videos please feel free to like share and subscribe and all that and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one where we face the demon himself see you later